Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Naval ships are constantly under threat from air attack, making aerial defense systems a crucial component of their combat capabilities. These systems are designed to intercept and destroy incoming threats, such as anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. Naval air defense systems are constantly evolving to meet the challenges posed by newer and more sophisticated aerial threats. Close-in weapon systems, also known as point defense systems, are a critical component of naval air defense, providing the last line of protection against incoming threats, such as anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and small boats. CIWS are typically mounted on the decks of warships and are used as a last line of defense against attacks that have penetrated the ship's outer defenses. It typically consists of a high-velocity gun, such as a Gatling gun, a radar system that detects and tracks incoming threats, and a laser tracking system that further tracks and engages targets. CIWS systems are generally controlled by a fire control system that integrates all of the system's components and automatically fires the gun at threats. CIWS systems are subjected to a rigorous testing program to ensure reliability and effectiveness. The FCS receives data from the radar and laser tracking systems and uses this data to determine the threat's range, bearing, and velocity. The FCS then calculates the firing solution and sends commands to the gun to fire at the threat. During NATO's exercise Joint Warrior, which took place off the coast of Scotland, a simulated air attack against the Spanish warship Mendez Nunez resulted in the activation of weapons on both sides. The exercise involved more than 40 warships and submarines from 14 different NATO countries, as well as 70 aircraft. The goal of this exercise was to test the ability of NATO forces to detect, track, and intercept simulated air threats. This helps to improve their readiness and coordination in responding to real-world air attacks and increases interoperability between these forces, which is essential for effective air defense operations. NATO's Quick Reaction Training Sessions, also known as Quick Reaction Alert or Immediate Reaction Forces, are critical components of the Alliance's collective defense strategy. These drills involve the activation of air defense systems, such as surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft artillery, to counter potential air threats. The frequency of NATO QRA training sessions varies depending on the specific threat environment and the readiness requirements of the Alliance. Ready, ready. 
However, these exercises are conducted regularly to maintain the high level of readiness required for NATO's collective defense. Naval Electromagnetic Operations, or NEMO exercises, are a series of multinational, collaborative endeavors designed to enhance the readiness and interoperability of participating navies in the realm of electronic warfare. It's an opportunity to, to uh, do some science and technology work, uh, to collect data, to do some analysis, to learn more about, uh, about our ships, the vulnerability and the capabilities of the ships in an evolving electromagnetic requirement. These exercises focus on developing and refining the ability of naval forces to effectively utilize EW tactics, techniques, and procedures to counter potential threats and maintain maritime superiority. Participating navies practice jamming enemy radars and communication systems to degrade their capabilities and protect friendly forces. Mounted on the decks and superstructure of the aircraft carriers, 50 caliber machine guns serve as a versatile and potent weapon for defending these massive vessels against a diverse spectrum of threats. Their role encompasses safeguarding against small boat incursions, providing suppressive fire in support of amphibious operations, and acting as a last resort against incoming aircraft. While not as sophisticated as air defense systems, 50 caliber machine guns can still be effective against light aircraft, such as helicopters and low-flying airplanes. A rolling airframe missile, or RAM, is a lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile developed by Raytheon. It is designed to defend ships against a wide range of threats, including aircraft, helicopters, and missiles. The missile is powered by a solid fuel rocket motor and has a range of up to 2.4 miles, with an infrared seeker to detect and track its target. The seeker is mounted on the front of the missile and is able to lock onto the heat signature of an aircraft or missile. When the ram is fired, the seeker on the missile guides it to the intercept point to explode on impact, destroying the target. The concept of naval formations emerged in the 17th century. The advent of steam power in the 19th century revolutionized naval warfare leading to the formation of battle groups centered on aircraft carriers and their escorts. Modern navies utilize a diverse range of group formations to support sea control, power projection, and expeditionary warfare. Carrier strike groups, surface action groups, amphibious ready groups, and expeditionary strike groups are among prominent formations. Carrier strike group offers tremendous offensive capability, and they're a wonderful tool. And that variability 
And that versatility is what I think is the ESG's calling card. And we've heard some compare it to the Swiss Army knife, if you will, where there are lots of tools that you can use for many different situations. A carrier strike group is the most powerful type of naval formation. It comprises an aircraft carrier, its associated air wing, and several escort ships. The USS Carl Vinson is a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier that is the flagship of the Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group. It is armed with an array of missiles, guns, and aircraft, and can carry up to 90 aircraft. Also, this group includes the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser USS Lake Champlain and the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers USS Wayne E. Meyer and USS Michael Murphy, responsible for protecting the CSG from submarines and service threats. Guided missile cruisers are large, heavily armed warships that play a crucial role in modern naval warfare. They are typically equipped with a wide array of missiles, guns, and radars. Making them capable of defending against air, surface, and subsurface threats. The USS Bunker Hill is an Arleigh Burke-class guided missile cruiser armed with various missiles, including SM-2 surface-to-air missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, like the USS Henry M. Jackson, are a class of nuclear-powered submarines that are armed with submarine-launched ballistic missiles. They are the largest and most powerful submarines ever built and play a critical role in the United States nuclear deterrent strategy. Ohio-class submarines can carry up to 24 Trident II SLBMs, capable of carrying up to eight multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. The USS Henry M. Jackson has been deployed on numerous missions worldwide, including Operation Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. The United Kingdom Carrier Strike Group is a powerful naval formation led by the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the largest aircraft carrier in British history. The CSG consists of a flotilla of destroyers and frigates from the UK and the Netherlands, the USS The Sullivans, and 15 F-35B Lightning IIs from Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 211, and the UK's 617 Squadron. Its destroyers and frigates are equipped with sonar and torpedoes to detect and attack enemy submarines. Aircraft carriers are the most powerful warships in the world and are crucial to projecting global power. They must be equipped with a variety of weapon systems to defend themselves from air, surface, and subsurface threats. In addition, ship preparedness training is essential to ensure the carrier and its crew are ready to respond to any threat. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.